Back issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. So, okay, we have a very specific Venom story that is going to be done when Venom comes out. Ooh. So I thought, uh, to kind of whet our appetite for a Venom story, we're going to do Avengers, Death Trap, The Vault. Wait. Well, all of those oh, names are what this book is. <laughs> Avengers, Death Trap, the Vault. Part one. <laughs> Thankfully, it's all all of it is one part, because this is an original graphic novel written by Danny Fingeroth with art by Ron Lim, which came out in 1991. So it's actually one of the first couple of Venom stories. I, I think that uh, it goes, like, McFarlane and Michelinie's Venom. Maybe Venom Returns and then this. But hmm. it, it, it takes place right after Acts of Vengeance, which is a story where... Uh, the, the the villains all like cross characters mm-hmm. you know like uh, Magneto you go fight uh, the Avengers and uh, you know Doctor Doom you fight uh, the X-Men you know like that kind of thing yeah none of those crossovers happen unfortunately those are all really cool but none of the, you, you don't see they that they do something else yeah. yeah but they're all crossed over when I glanced at this cover I saw these villains in the background mm-hmm. and I thought why is Hulk a villain <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no. oh it's not Hulk no that's Radioactive Man look out Radioactive Man <laughs> Although I should point out, in our Black Panther episode, Radioactive Man is in it, and he's Russian. Mm-hmm. But the real Radioactive Man is Chinese. Oh. Wait, the real one? Yeah, like the, the one that, like in real life. Like yeah. in the real Marvel Comics universe, and not in like uh, Reginald Hudlin's version of the Marvel Comics universe, where everyone is insane except for Black Panther. Okay. Like, Radioactive Man is Chinese, and not dead. <laughs> So he, he comes into play. Okay. He's on the cover. Right, right. He better and come into play. There's right? a giant colossus in the background, but that's not Colossus. No. No. Well Colossus is only a Colossus figuratively. He's not large. Yeah. Giant that... Man is more of a Colossus than Peter Rasputin. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, Avengers Death Trap the Vault <laughs> is an original graphic novel that Marvel put out during a time when they were putting out original graphic novels and Later on, when this was repurposed and Venom became even more popular, they just changed the name to Venom uh, Death Trap, I think. Mm. Or Venom the Vault, I don't remember. The point is... Yeah, like Craven the Hunter. Yeah. Like, he's the villain of the book. Right, well, and it's just, even that, like, uh, that's not even called... The, the book, uh, Spider-Man, like, Craven's Last Hunt, isn't called Craven's Last Hunt, but it became that. Right, after When that. people were like, eh, that's the book. Something. Yeah. yeah, like, that's what it's called. So this eventually isn't even an Avengers book, but the one we're doing is. That way we can do a Venom book later. Mm. But if you want to buy it, it's in the description box below this video, and I think it's called Venom. Don't be fooled. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, yeah. But you'll know it because it has Venom and Mystique on the cover. So this story is about the problem with the vault. When Marvel villains used to get uh, imprisoned, yeah. you know, you couldn't put them in a jail. Right, they'd just break out. They'd just break out. So they had this special maximum security supervillain prison called the Vault in the Colorado Rockies. Plus, like, if you go put the Blob in a regular jail, he'll eat all the other inmates' food and he'll start to death. And then you've got, like, <laughs> Geneva <laughs> Conventions. Yeah, uh, he you got, you got a couple of legal problems. Well, don't worry, because the Blob is in this story, and he is not a villain. Although he was a villain. Uh, But right now he's part of a team that is trying to reform. And they're like a heroes for hire kind of situation. Okay. This is an Avengers book. And we have another hero team that features villains? That's right. Sweet. I'm assuming they don't do very well. (laughs) No, they do. Because they're popular and cool. Freedom Force. Freedom Force? Yeah, because yeah. they're trying to get their freedom back. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's, like yeah. it's like a Marvel Suicide Squad. Okay. Um, only only no of, one's going to kill them. Kind of super lame. Um, it is actually made up mostly of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, or the ones that you remember. Mm-hmm. Like the Blob and Pyro and Avalanche and Mystique, um, with a couple of other additional characters. Yeah, that's just an X-Men cartoon show right there. Yeah, that's just the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants from the X-Men cartoon show. And from the comics, kind of. So... The Vault features heavily. It's about a breakout from the Vault. Okay. The only problem is that, like, they just did a breakout from the Vault in that story, Acts of Vengeance. But, like, forget all that. We're going to talk about this one. I got a better idea. Let's have a break in. They do break in, but there is a breakout happening. Oh. 
Because it sounds like Death Trap, the vault, would be like, we get the Avengers here thinking there's a breakout, and then we murder them. That would be cool. <laughs> no. It is no? a Death Trap, though. Oh. As long as there's a Death Trap. Don't worry. Well, the vault becomes a Death Trap. It doesn't become like <laughs> it a labyrinth. A trap. Right. But it is a death trap. We establish that the vault is being ran by this dude named Truman Marsh. Oh. <laughs> and Truman Marsh. He looks like a marsh. Does he? Yeah. He's got a pipe. Mm. Marshes are known for their pipes. <laughs> the only famous one I know of was an archaeologist at the turn of the century. Oh. And uh, I, it was the turn of the century, so I assume. So he was just, <laughs> oh, you didn't even know! <laughs> I think I might have seen a picture of him like holding next to a the skeleton pipe. of a dinosaur holding a pipe. <laughs> I have that in my head. If there is one, it, it's on the screen or it's right just now. A, he's holding just a bone and you think it's a pipe. Yeah, he's or he turned it, it like into a, a pipe. pipe. Yeah, oh. He hollowed it out yeah. and then gets blazed. Truman Marsh is this is the villain of the story. Okay. He's the warden slash whatever. He controls the vault and he his parents were murdered in a superhero conflict. Hmm. Um, and so he's always harbored this deep-seated resentment of superheroes okay. and superpowered beings in general. Right. And so even himself, he's not superpowered. He just runs the prison. Oh, he's just a dude. Okay, I, I assume like <laughs> what is if you're running the vault, no. I figured you would have powers. No, he's no, just, he's just a, a guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, he just works there. They use technology and, and stuff. They don't need powers. Yeah, do yeah. I was like, where did, where did I go wrong? How did I how did I fail to explain this? <laughs> The two things you need to know. Number one, Venom is in the story. <laughs> Number two, Truman Marsh is the bad guy. <laughs> okay. So He looks like Stacy Keach. He does. Yeah. And that may be intentional. Mm. So we take a minute away from the vault to look at a trial for a supervillain known as the Controller, who has these special control discs that he can use to control the wills of people. Uh, oh. Captain America... <laughs> Sounds like a trial would not work very well no because he's he's in a special like cube that keeps him from being able to use his powers and <laughs> well, uh, how do the discs work why don't they just take the discs from him they do oh. but he also has like he has a super suit on oh still. he's got additional oh why yeah. don't they take his fucking super suit off because then he know. would be naked ethan and that's <laughs> just, just indecent it's weird Are they, is it like fused with his body no or something? Okay. i think it's because for the reader how are you gonna know it's a super <laughs> villain unless you there's see a lot the of costume. that in this story where it's like for some reason the greg argoyle has his costume on so but like even in, in the vault yeah right? there yes and there are a bunch of people in the vault however who are still wearing their prison garb okay. and so you still like electro the only way you know it's electro is because he's using electricity powers but otherwise you're like max is that you <laughs> so cap and henry pym aka ant-man goliath yellow jacket sometimes the wasp etc he uh the the two of them testify against the controller in in open court okay um, it's great because like the controller moves for a mistrial and the judge's like, no, I'm going to rule. And I'm like, well, that's fast. Well, okay, well, what? moving on. So uh, the controller's sentenced to go to the, the vault. And so we follow the controller. What was his crime? You know, like being a, being a superhero. <laughs> he was controlling people with his discs and he's trying to take their money. And <laughs> okay, t- trying to take their See, that's a, that's a crime. That. See, I was, oh, a, yeah. <laughs> I was a salesman and people weren't buying the used cars, so I used the discs so that they would buy the cars. That is, no. That would be fraud. That would be fraud. And also, he, it would be less severe. He wouldn't go to the vault. <laughs> unless, you know, he stole the discs. <laughs> or unless, like, he sold the Judge of Lemon. Yeah. Yeah, then he'd really throw the book at him. So, uh, they they transfer him to the to the vault. Mm-hmm. Marsh is there yeah. to, uh, you know... Welcome him. Welcome him. And he's also, like, kind of, like, giving Cap the business. He's like, oh, you super people. You killed my parents. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure I killed your parents. Cap's like, I did not kill your parents. Yeah. So were they, your parents Nazis? You do have blonde hair because I—that's the only people I've killed in the last like hundred years. So the controller has moved into his cell. Cap and Pim get into their Quinjet and bail. And on their way out, they both like muse about how weird Marsh is. Like, he kind of <laughs> rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, he's a dick to us for no reason. Yes, and they're yeah. like he's and, and a little creepy. And they're like, well, you got to encounter a lot of people on the job. Moving on. Mm. So uh, and Marsh, of course, like good riddance to them. <laughs> uh, because Marsh has other sinister undertones you see yeah. uh, while he also hates superpowered people and he runs the supermax prison he also uh, experiments on supervillains oh, of course oh jeez yeah. so he's uh, he's doing some like experiment. a mad scientist yeah but he's not a scientist he's more like fuck with Mentolo put Mentolo in a, an electric chair and just give him zaps and stuff and then like record the record the findings I guess you know, whatever to give you want. it like a veneer of like, there's a reason why I'm doing it. Yeah, really, I just want to torture. Record yes. the findings. Um, 
I don't know like, what that. I don't know what this means. He doesn't uh, care but, for uh, it very one much. day maybe. Yeah. So Mentolo is being zapped, and during the torture, he's able to reach out to Venom, and he's like, because Venom's in an adjacent cell, okay. and he's like, Venom, you escape from this place all the time. We're gonna escape. Let's let's plot our escape plan. Okay. And Venom's like, right on. So then Mentolo creates some visions for the vault guards who are known as the jury who have most recently been upgraded in their special Iron Man looking armor yeah. by Iron Man. Oh. So they should be more than a match for everyone in the vault. They are not. <laughs> well, because they're noobs. Well, yes. The, the suit does not make the man or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> like the guy in it has to know what he's doing. Yes. Yeah. And in fact, one of the jury members does because they see like a scary monster and they know it's a projection from Mentolo, so mm. they hit him with some knockout gas. Oh. Uh, but while they do that, Venom escapes and then kills a bunch of them. Oh. And Does he wh- eat their brain? No, he doesn't eat anyone's brains in this story. Because they are green, right? They're like Skrulls, kind of. Oh, I see. <laughs> no, Venom doesn't start eating brains until much later. And oh. even then, when he does, I remember him thinking to himself, Oh my god, did I just eat someone's brains? I know I always threatened it out loud, but I never thought I'd actually do it. <laughs> They're firing at Venom, yeah. manages to free a few members of the vault prison team. Okay. So, like, a bunch of people, including, like, Speed Demon, get out. Once Speed Demon's out, who's basically a, an evil speedster, he just take, makes quick work of them. Yeah. And it's great because... That's because speedsters are, like, the most powerful. They should be, yeah. They should be those powerful characters, except for people who can perceive time differently. Yeah. So, Speed Demon frees... Uh, Electro, and then Electro's like, let's free everybody. Yeah, why well, stop? Because Venom like, doesn't oh, care. Man. Venom's like, I'm my pl- I need to kill Spider Man and what? possibly eat his brains. I don't care about any of you. I don't have a plan here. Right. My plan is to leave and I'm kill like Spider Man. An I just want. Well, mayhem. he just he just wants to kill Spider. I just I have a plan. It's one plan. Yep. It's kill Spider Man. Get out of here. If you guys want to leave, fine. Right. So long as you don't stop me. And from I'm not going to help you. So they get out, uh, so Electro frees a bunch of people, including Thunderball, a member of the Wrecking Crew, oh. who, as it turns out, is actually like a super genius, kind of. And a terrible movie? <laughs> yes. Two terrible movies? Two members of the entire cast of characters manage to actually get topside. It's the only villains that escape the vault at any point during this prison break. Oh, wow. And it's the two lamest ones, the Griffin and the Orca. Uh, if you can guess, the griffin is the one who looks like a griffin. Right. And the orca is the one who looks like a fucking... What the... What? what? <laughs> it what looks like he's look got like? pieces of tape holding on a mask. He like like anything. Anything. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. That so, is not a good design. No. I don't understand. What is that supposed to be? It's like... It's those little It's like Smoochie's holding... mask. Oh. You know, like where if you actually look at it literally, it looks like a rhino is... Like, throwing up a human's face. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm the orca, right. but, like, my my head covering is the mouth. Yeah. Because because orca's heads would normally face up. Like, Joyce. Right. And yeah, I'm not going to... poster. I don't want to look yeah. like a street shark, is what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> so, they escape, and then are immediately defeated by Captain America and Hank Pym, who hear about the prison break, and then just turn the jet around and right. take them I'm take sorry, them down. you're telling me that Venom's only plan is to get out he manages to help everyone else escape through Electro. He barely... Ma- no, he accidentally frees somebody who frees Electro, and then Electro frees everybody else. But Venom the, is the just cause fighting of, juries. The cause of is, like, Venom let... He essentially he, lets everybody Yeah, out. by accident, yes. Because he and has no interest in helping anybody And else. he never gets out of the prison. No. Cap and Hank go back to the prison, and Marsh immediately goes to, okay, there's a prison break happening. I should push the button that detonates the prison. Oh. But no, wait. I won't do it. But I might. Mom, Dad, I will have my vengeance on the super people, but not yet. I might push this button that'll blow up this prison. Uh, but but, but who knows? <laughs> so, Is he hesitating because he's still inside? Yes. Oh. Well, he's like, he, he has, he has it his own... him, too. No, he has no. a special elevator that gets him. Oh. Oh. But he's it's like, like, do I want to kill all these people? Right. Because well, do I have to do it escape? right now? It's he's just for no reason. He's well, he's just like he's un himself. he's unhinged. Yeah. So he's like he's at a moment's notice. He's ready to blow everybody up. Yeah. Well, this is like apparently the first time we've met this character. Yes. yes. So it's and the last. It's his first prison break. So like it's yeah, your first true. prison break. You're like, should I kill everyone? Right. Should I just blow everybody up? I don't want to have another act of vengeance. So 
Then, uh, then Freedom Force comes to uh, shows up in a helicopter. Oh, and uh, they've been hired to quell the prison break. Okay. And so we get to that's meet. That's fast. Yeah, it was. So we get to meet Freedom Force, which is just the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, plus a couple other characters like Crimson Commando and Super Saber. And uh, they've been previously established in the yes. prior book? Okay. Yeah, they're, they are established, <laughs> though they don't make it as a team uh, or as anti heroes slash heroes. They inevitably all flip back to, to no, being sure. Evil. But right now, anything can happen. Moment in time. So, you know, strap in for this crazy topsy turvy world okay. of Marvel Comics. <laughs> so Venom immediately takes a bunch of hostages. And he calls Marsh on the intercom, and he's like, hey, yo, listen, uh, I'm gonna kill these guys unless you let me out. And Marsh is like, no. And Venom's like, okay. So then he kills one of the guards. And Marsh is like, oh, oh. way to justify how I feel about you! So Yeah, he's look, a villain. I wasn't yeah. kidding. He's a villain. <laughs> Mr. Frodo. Yeah. Hmm? He's like, I wasn't kidding. Yeah. yeah. I don't care. No, I, I'm I Venom. I do the prank. Well, like, and in every... You're, you're lucky I didn't eat their brains in front of you. <laughs> every time Venom escapes the vault, he always kills, like, a few guards. Yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah Marsh. Of course he did. Get with the program here. You're dealing with a Venom story. Why doesn't Venom escape via the same avenue that the, the, the he, Orca and... They got separate. He didn't see that. Oh. He doesn't know how to escape. Okay. He's just hoping Marsh will tell him. <laughs> okay. I mean, so, if nothing else, I mean, just tunnel up. This is also, unfortunately, during a time when the Avengers are split. There's the West Coast Avengers and the mm. Avengers. Uh, but Fingeroth doesn't want to do that, so all the Avengers are in one Quinjet and they go uh, to <laughs> help Captain America okay. and, uh, and Hank Pym deal with this prison break. So, just the, the story is that there's a prison break happening and it becomes a complete clusterfuck. Yep. And there are two super teams, technically three, but really two, Freedom Force and the Avengers, right. who are going to try and stop it. But Freedom Force is okay with killing because they're bad guys. Ah. And the Avengers are not. Sure. So keep that in mind for okay. later. Yeah, okay, so what makes them good guys then if they're okay with killing? Well, they're trying to stop bad guys from escaping. Yeah. They're like extreme. They're more extreme. Yeah. They're, well, like uh... police forces are allowed to use lethal force. Yeah. So, too, are Freedom Force. Anyway, well, so... Well, it's not necessarily allowed, but they... Well, they have the authority. Allow themselves to. Yeah. Oh, no, that's true. Are they granted the authority to kill these people? Kind of. Okay. So Wait, they meet, by Marsh? Well, they meet with Marsh, and he's like, yeah, feel free, whatever, I don't care. I was gonna blow up the place, so yeah. You didn't say that, but yes. <laughs> this will so, be more fun to watch on yeah. the CCTV. So then they, uh, they use Avalanche's powers to drill a hole into the vault... To create their own like access tunnel. Who so let's find him out. <laughs> <laughs> they should. So then Marsh is like, "Whoo! Good thing Freedom Force is here. Now I don't have to activate the bomb. Oh no, the bomb is activated. What? And we've got only twenty-one minutes before it blows up the entire facility. Oops. Because like during the prison break, the, the, the circuitry that controlled this bomb that only Marsh and like the president of the United States are aware of. <laughs> that what? <laughs> so he's like, uh, okay, so it's like a security. Protocol yeah. or something, maybe? Yeah, it's like a super secret security protocol that was put in place that Marsh is aware of and the right. president is aware of. Okay. And, and the Marsh president to... didn't no. hit the button. No, like I said, like it, he was kind of like playing with the button probably, and like he uh but he said, you know, the circuitry was damaged to the button or to the to the detonation process via the explosions and the and you know, all the mayhem happening during the prison break. What a goddamn lie. He hit it. <laughs> right? You're like, oh, did he? Probably. Mm, yeah. So then he's like, well, uh, nothing I can do about that, so I guess I'll just leave. Fuck them. Fuck okay. Them okay, there has to be an abort button. No. Or some no. kind of code. Oh, it's broken. The circuitry broken. got damaged. It's broken. So he's like, he goes, fate has made the decision for me. I guess I'll just get into my private elevator and get the hell out of here. And Venom webs him up uh. and catches him, and he's like, nice try, because this other Spider-Man villain, Vermin, smelled you, and I followed him, and then he led me to you, so now I've got you. Oh. But what's great is he's like, okay, well, we're going to use your private elevator. And the Marsh's like, no, you don't. And he pushes a special thing on his on his person that, that blows, blows up the elevator. Oh. And then adamantium plates block the elevator shaft. Oh. There's no way oh. to leave. You can't even climb it. I was yeah. gonna say, so what if the elevator's busted? There's still a shaft. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Now it's clear. Now it's now it's sealed. Nice. Well, this prison's actually reasonably well designed. Yeah, Marsh has a lot of explosive protocols. <laughs> In any event, uh, he's just like, 
you know, we're all trapped here. There's nothing you can do, Venom. And Venom's like, well, then you're going to die. With, and Venom, and, and Marsh like, I'm going to die with all of them. Oh, no, sweet irony. He doesn't say that, but you know. Right. So then uh, the Avengers show up and they're talking to uh, Ms. Brewster, who is Marsh's assistant, slash like the co-whatever controller of the, of the place. Okay. And she is not aware of the self-destruct protocol. Right. But there's like a screen af- across from them that Captain America notices yeah. that like is printing gibberish and Henry Pym is like, oh, that's code. Let me use like my, uh, let me use my pocket computer to analyze the code. And Iron Man, of course, uploads to it as well and he's like, oh, it's a detonation sequence. The whole place is going to blow up. <laughs> and Hank Pym's like, yeah, see? Like, look at my little computer. <laughs> and she's like, well, but that's impossible. That, oh, damn it. Oh. We're all, we're all screwed. What? Well, they didn't tell me about the bomb. So they're like, well, where is the bomb? Maybe we can defuse it. And she's like, I don't know. I didn't even know it was there. Right. And they're like, okay, well, then you're going to have to give us the blueprints of this place. And she's like, no, I'm sorry. They're classified. There's nothing I can do. What? I can't give you the blueprints. What if, like, one of you becomes a villain? Or what if a villain hacks your systems? What if, what if all of you blow up in this bomb right now? I can't believe Blob fits in the tunnel. Well, they made it big enough. They had to make it extra big so he could get through it. Greg is like one of the members is like shoveling debris out of the tunnel so they can go through it. And then the tunnel immediately fills with water. And they're like, oh, well, I guess we're going to die. What does it fill with water from? Hydro Man. Oh. Oh, thank God. It's not like we just missed. Yeah. And we just hit water. just hit the river. (laughs) Oh, you know what? Turns out uh, I didn't have the blueprints, and it's yeah. going the wrong so you direction. can't just dig in a random direction and expect the end hole to be where you want it. Yeah, so I think Avalanche like feels using his earthquake powers oh. to know where the where, where the the prison is, and then just drills the hole. Okay. Anyway, so uh, Cap takes charge, and he's like leading the team, and he's like, "Okay, you like you know, Vision, you scout ahead, find out what we're dealing with, and you know, Hank, you figure out where the you know we got to get the the blueprints, which he does." And, uh, and Vision uses his phasing powers, because he can just go through things immediately, to check out what's going on. And what's yeah. happening is uh, Venom is threatening to kill people because that's what he does. Sure. And Vision immediately takes him out because Venom can be easily defeated by any member of the Avengers, right. except for Hawkeye, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so... Is Marsh still with Venom? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, he's, he's now, like, part of the prison... Uh, well, the prisoners of the prisoners. Right, he's a like, hostage. He's a hostage, thank you. So, uh, Claw gets the drop on Vision, knocks oh. him out, so now he's a hostage as well. Oh. And we know Claw. Jeez. Yeah, we know Claw. Uh, this is the Claw that I'm used to. Yeah, with his weird, like, radio dish hand. Yes, and his weirder body. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, his, uh, his shorts are really weird looking. Yeah. And his face... Is a mess. Is really, what is even happening there? His face is a mess. It what? looks like a. It looks like it's made of plastic. Why does Vision like one on one gulp against Venom in a room filled with bad guys? Because and Venom it's... was going to kill a hostage right uh, then and there. Oh, okay. So he had to. Act. So he had to act immediately. I see. And uh, yeah, so he's defeated, and they're going to use a control disc on him from the controller, but uh, Thunderball steps in and he's like, "No, like, don't do that. Just Claw will create a sound shield that will." Uh, because he used the, his own sound powers to strike at Vision, even though he was in his phasing ability. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it stands to reason that his sound prison can t- keep Vision in stasis, okay. so that he won't escape and phase out. Right. So they're like, Claw, you hold on to him that way, and he'll be a hostage if we have to deal with the rest of the Avengers. And so Thunderbolt immediately just starts taking charge. And then Venom's like, hey! The book is not called Thunderball Death Trap Maximum Security or whatever. Yeah, well, nor is it, it called Venom Death Trap whatever. Yeah, but, but it, it will is, be. But it will be. And so no one's here to buy Thunderball books. Right. So then the two of them just start complaining at each other about like who should be in charge. Okay. Because Venom's like, I'm in charge because I started the breakout. And Thunderball's oh. like, I'm in charge because I have half a brain. <laughs> Well, you won't in a second. Just yeah. wait a minute. Yeah, well, let me just eat half of it. This panel here, just, I gotta, this is awesome. This, like, anime style. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll yeah. kill you! I don't want to draw a background. How about we show how intense it is by giving some lines? Lines. That's, a, that's, that's an old trick. They've been doing that forever. Mm. But Electro shows up, and he's like, that's enough. We're all stuck here. Knock it off. Well, who put you in charge, Electro? Yeah. No, I'm not getting in charge. I'm gonna eat your brain. Don't eat anybody's brains. All right? Just, we all need to leave. So help me. Why did you grow up here? Yeah. <laughs> why did you become the physical type? That's it. <laughs> Sorry, Griff. 
So then, basically, uh, Venom and Thunderbolt form their own teams, and they both do their own, like, plans. Okay. And Venom's like, well, you're you're not gonna believe how awesome my plan was when you see how dead Spider-Man becomes. Thunderbolt's like, (laughs) whatever, buddy. (laughs) So, the Avengers split into teams to deal with this prison break. For no reason other than we need them to split into teams. Okay. They're already a team! Yeah, but now uh, Hawkeye, Wonder Man, and Wasp are a team. And they are immediately uh, besieged by another group of villains. Um, like Pile Driver and uh, the Titana, I think. No, it's Moonstone. No, it's Yeah, this Titan- Titania. Yeah. yeah. All right. I know these characters. Even though they're wearing <laughs> like just, just jumpsuits. I saw her name earlier. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so... Uh, the Avengers are, like, really, really poorly equipped to handle this. It's why, like, they weren't able to stop anybody during Maximum Carnage. Mm. Which is only a few short years later. Like, most of the Avengers in this book show up at the end of Maximum Carnage to go like, Well, Spider-Man, nice work, but we'll take it from here. Like, oh, yeah, no problem. (laughs) Oh, you did so much already. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Fuck you very much. (laughs) So... (gasps) I don't think he likes us. No, I don't. So then, uh... We cut back to the hole in the floor with yeah, Hydra Man. Where everyone's drowning. And, yeah. uh, and Mystique. And they're still drowning. They're still drowning, but like it's happening in real time. So uh, Mystique just, she's like, stop. Like she holds up her hand as like a like, you know, truce. Mm-hmm. And so Hydra Man like gets rid of the water. And then his his team show up. I like his uh, taunt, Hydra Man's taunt. Yeah. Some heroes, you can't even breathe underwater. Thanks, uh, thanks Hydra Man. No, most people can't breathe underwater. <laughs> And you technically can't breathe underwater. You are water. So, yeah. Hey, that hurts. Good. I'm um, raised you can feel anything. I can feel cold. <laughs> so things are looking grim. Yeah, all well, the heroes are getting... What happened to the other team of Avengers? We're going to catch up with them right now. Okay. They're going to take care of the bomb, right? Yeah. Well, yes. They're hoping to. I would hope! So this is the good team, right? This is Cap and uh, Iron Man and... Yeah, it's Cap and She-Hulk. Oh, where's Iron Man? Iron Man's doing other things. What? Iron Man's three. So they broke up into three teams? Yeah, he said they. Yeah, they broke oh. up into three teams. That's so, too many teams. <laughs> I know. Well, like you've got you've got the you've got the Avengers and Freedom Force. Right. That's two teams. Yeah. Except you've already merged another Avengers team into that Avengers team, so you have three yeah. teams already. Then we're gonna split those three teams into three more teams. We got six teams. <laughs> except. <laughs> And, of course, the Prison Break has their own teams, and they just split into two teams. And then you've got, like, Venom's team and Thunderball's yeah, team. Yeah, so we're dealing with eight team. teams, yeah. at least. So oh, so this is like a March Madness kind of thing. It is. So, yeah, we're going to pit those teams against each other, and we'll see who comes out on top. <laughs> anyway, so Cap and Shield immediately beat, like, most of the people they're fighting. This team doesn't make any sense. Let's take two strong, two people who are real strong and put them together. Mm-hmm. They'll complement each other nicely. Yeah. They'll be defeated by the same exact yeah, things. Cap isn't as strong as, strong as She-Hulk. I don't know. Plus, he's a great strategy. He's got a shield, I, I was, guess. I was going to say, this was picked by someone who was like, just playing a video game. Like, I want really strong characters. Yeah, <laughs> I play strong characters. Okay, you two are both strong, so if we put you together, It'll uh, be really no strong. one could possibly beat you. Yeah. Because you'll be super strong. Yeah. Or super, super strong. Super duper strong. Right, thanks. That's better. When you take two things that are the same and you put them together. They get double the strong. Thing. Look at that goddamn onomatopoeia! Splong! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is Jason Mewes writing here. this book? It, it doesn't matter who wins because right. eventually they all regroup and then every all the teams become just good guys and bad guys. Okay. So Except for the bad guys who are being good guys. Right, except guys. for the bad guys well, who have yeah. reformed and become good guys. Right. So Cap goes on his communicator and he coordinates with Freedom Force. He gets Mystique. Mm. And she's like, okay, you've got to meet me. And Cap and Shiok are like, do we though? Are you? Did you team up with the bad guys? Is that is that what's happening here? No, well, I'll play your game for now. Mm. So they're like, so she and she Hulk immediately is like, well, so we're gonna walk into a trap. And Cap's like, maybe she Hulk, maybe. He's like, no, but we really are though. We should be ready for it. You're a strategic genius. Do you have a plan? And he does not. Maybe, maybe I do. Would you yeah, like to share with me? Do I factor I into the don't. plan? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. So then I'd like that, myself a beer. You? Yeah, I would love that plan. Tell you my plan. I'm on Who your side team. Are you on yours? You seem awfully interested in my plan. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be sucker punched by Mystique. <laughs> so Venom's calling up Brewster on the phone, and he's like, "I got Marsh here. I'm gonna kill him if you don't do something." And then uh, he gets sucker punched by Rhino and the Armadillo, whose uh, power is leprosy. The Armadillo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Are they? They're just a rival team of bad guys. They are. They are bad guys in the vault who just want to stay there and live out their sentences and then be ref- and then go home. Oh, so what? Like, you're messing it up. Yeah, you're screwing everything I'm up. Trying to go straight, man. Yeah, they're gonna think that we teamed up because we're all in costumes. <laughs> Once like, I can't yeah. take it off. Yeah. It's the same setup of a team. You got two guys that are just armored. Yeah, and they yeah. also can't take off their armor. That's the idea that Rhino's like, if I'm freed, they'll take my armor off. Like, mm. come on, man. And then they are manipulated by the controller and then knocked out. No. Not so much for that. And Venom's like, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like double crosses. And I'm like, you double cross people all the time. <laughs> so What I do is not a double cross. It's just a cross. <laughs> so then, then She-Hulk and Cap meet up with some of Freedom Force okay. from like across a very long hallway and they're like hey what's going on over there and they're like not much we're ready to team up you come on over here on this side of the hallway and they're like maybe why don't you come over on this side of the hallway <laughs> why are you so interested in me being on your side of the hallway yeah and well this side of the hallway is better yeah uh, I don't know about that and then Wonder Man shows up with his team and the rest of Freedom Force oh. because they rescued uh, Freedom Force from whatever from the water and so forth no well the water no Freedom Force rescued themselves in the water no. from Hydro Man because they when, pretended uh, to be good they pretended to work with them right yeah when Mystique together. like raised her hands yeah she's yeah. like I don't know it's good like we're gonna work together and then we'll overthrow the Avengers and then they turned over on yeah, those guys across. it's just constant crosses over the story yeah. it's just can you do you get like this, the ridiculously circuitous <laughs> schemes that are being hatched in this no story? I don't, it's too complicated it's not even complicated no because complicated implies like there's like it's just it's just so elaborate well it's this is just like so these two bad guys and good guys and then like the bad guys who are who are trying to become good guys they pretend to be bad guys again so the bad guys won't kill them and then they beat them up because they're actually good guys but they're bad guys pretending to be good guys. So then the good guys, <laughs> they split up and they fight bad guys. But that's it. I mean, it's just kind of like, it's well, just it's just trying to make sense of like all these fight scenes. It's, that are... it's hard. It's complicated if you're trying to understand from their perspective what they're thinking. Yes. Or <laughs> what or in what sequence anything happens. Yeah. Even like, no one's wait, thinking anything. Who, so what side are, the, are these people really on? Yeah. Like, so they betrayed these people. Not, like if you're trying to create order from it. Right. There's, and I guess, I guess like no the only way to really do it is like the prisoners want to leave. Yeah, Freedom Force wants to beat them and collect a paycheck. The do Avengers, they though, or yes. do they have some ulterior? Oh. oh, do they? And it's like, but the only reason why they would have an ulterior motive is if they were just huge jerks and wanted to help their own fellow bad guys. Right. There is virtually no reason for them to team up with the bad guys because they can leave through the front door. Right. And get paid. Yeah. And most of the villains that are stuck in the vault suck. <laughs> Right, so why would they even want to help them? Right, and if it all goes south, they're gonna end up in the, in vault. the vault. So it's what's what? Why would they take? There's the risk? no incentive. Yeah. Okay. So then Wonder Man and his team of Avengers, you know, like Hawkeye and Wasp, yeah, and three other members of uh, Freedom Force, they bump into the other members of the Freedom Force and the other members of the Avengers who are like, ah, you, I don't know, and so they're like, oh shit, Wonder Man's here, and the rest of our team, and they all don't. If there was going to be a double cross, mm-hmm. we've 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 canceled it. Like we we've lost our opportunity. Yes. So now they're all one team. Okay. At least more or less, because there's still more members of the team missing. Right. So that sucks. What ha- what you what just, just happened? Over. Yeah. Mister Hyde and Necra are necking <laughs> in like a storage closet. And then Blob and She-Hulk totally cock block them for no <laughs> reason because they're like, "Hey, if there's a bomb, we're gonna die." Might Let's, as well go out yeah. with, with a, a bang. bang. And then they do. Well, like, they try. And then they with totally get caught on. It's like, hey, <laughs> you're not trying to escape. You're trying to have sex. No, this is a comic book for children. No conjugal visits for you. The sucky thing is, this is an original graphic novel. It requires no authority from the comics code right. to be published. And so they can most... show tits and stuff. Yes. <laughs> And but they're not going to. But they could. But they, huh. they don't want to outrage people. Now I have a better idea. Let's show dicks. Okay. Everyone's looking for boo. No, we're going to go even one step further. Yeah. (laughs) All the superheroes junk. What's interesting is, with these original graphic novels, they were looking to push the envelope to see how far they could go. Yeah. uh, In terms of, like, regular, everyday superhero comics. Over on the other side of DC, they were doing stuff in the 90s that did show boobs and stuff. Like, there is a straight-up Green Arrow story drawn by Superman artist Dan Jurgens that just has a straight-up sex scene 
between Black Canary and Green Arrow. Wow. And it looks like you're reading a Green Arrow slash <laughs> Superman comic book, but they bang him. And you're like, what <laughs> is happening? And they just went like, screw it, we're making Vertigo books and stuff, we don't need the comics code. Marvel, meanwhile, is like, let's show these two making out in their full outfits. No! And stop stop them! And that they might have sex. Yeah, meanwhile, like, in every Spider-Man <laughs> comic, Mary Jane is wearing the most elaborate and completely insane lingerie you could possibly put someone in. Yeah. With a ridiculous body standard. And she gets full page Eric Larson splashes. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that's cool. And the comic goes, approve! <laughs> I don't see any problem with that. Yeah. I mean, that's just hot. I like that's redheads! Really <laughs> right? Yeah. I think we could all agree that's hot. <laughs> I do have some very weird priorities there. I do indeed. My priorities are to read comic books early. And to see how hot... These artists want them to be. You know what, in fact? I am going to... I'm, I'm removing my approval. I'm going to keep this page. You make the one for everybody else tamer. <laughs> this is for my pro, for, for my files. Just as a, as a standards and practices mm. comparison chart. Right. It's very important. So... Mm, force, you're a sick man. So then... Free, I am. So, uh, Freedom Force and the Avengers then start arguing because they're going to, like... They ask uh, Necra where the bomb is located. Like, sure. maybe you could help us find it. And she spits in Captain America's face. And then the blob is Why? like, screw you, because she's like, no. Why yeah. would I help you? Yeah, okay. So, because you don't want to die? Yeah, no, that's not enough for me. Okay. How about, maybe you'll die too. It'll be great. Yeah, if, if you die, if the Avengers die, and who are you? Freedom right. Force? <laughs> yeah. who, Jesus. What? Oh my god. Anyway. Yeah, no, Hyde is like, like, no, I've got a plan. Let us go or die with all of us. Right. That's the der- that, those are the terms. So then Freedom Force is like, how about we kill you until, like, one of you tells us what's going on? The Avengers is like, you can't do that, man. And it's like, you can imagine Blob being like, Cap, you fucking rube. I don't, I'm not actually going to kill them, but you've just right. thrown away the good well, cop, they bad cop. I might have team. believed that I would. I'm normally a bad guy. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Cap? Uh, but no, they don't even do that. They just, like, they get into a, like, fight where you're going to have, like, Freedom Force versus the Avengers. And fucking She-Hulk just grabs one of them and punches her. In the like, face! She punches Necro in the face for no reason. Yeah. Like, yeah. she's not trying to break out. She's not trying to hurt anybody. Well, they are she's technically out, out of their guy. cells. And I don't want to have to fight you later. So now you're defeated. And Blob hits that guy over the head, like, uh, under the giant, jogging that guy's memory. That's right. Tank. He sure did. I expect that kind of behavior from Blob. He's a bad guy. But you, she But she You're a lawyer. <laughs> this person's not... They're not hurting anybody. They're, they're just... Yeah, I'm a lawyer. I'm also a superhero. Yeah, and you're a jail cell punch. I don't, yeah. I don't get to punch the other lawyers. <laughs> no, I agree. I mean, listen. It's, it's flimsy. So, then the rest of the villains show up, along with Hank Pym and Iron Man, who are trying to find and defuse the bomb. Ah, they were okay. defeated off panel. But now let's take another page Jesus. to explain how we defeated them oh. in only three panels. It doesn't matter. So That's they were defeated. Garbage. And now they're like... And so the Avengers and all the villains and all of Freedom Force are like in one room. And they're like, there's a bomb. It's going to blow up everybody. You have to let us go stop it. Right. And Venom's like, or you're lying. <sighs> okay. And then Thunderball's like... <sighs> Venom. Jesus, Venom. What is this guy's problem? Why is he so popular? <laughs> so then, uh, so then Thunderball steals Hank Pym's computer to ascertain whether or not it's a fake. Okay. To see if like they're if they're to bluffing. Prove to Venom that it's real. So he does, and then he's like, "Yeah, it's real. There really is a bomb. We're totally screwed." So like. We have to let Hank Pym and Iron Man defuse the bomb. Okay. Meanwhile, the rest of the Avengers can be held in Claw's special vibro thing that keeps Vision in right. check. So now the, the rest of the Avengers are stuck in like a in like a sound prison. And Hydro they Man just doesn't let that happen. Yeah. <laughs> Hydro Man doesn't suddenly say, "Hey, you know, there's a tunnel out of here." <laughs> yeah, I used it. I'm gone. Hydro Man's not even there. He's just like in an ocean, like ah. So. So or the, whatever he wants to do, I don't really know. The deal is, we'll let you defuse the bomb that's going to kill us, mm-hmm. but everyone else has to go in the box. Yes. And Iron Man's just like, yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, I'm not going in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
but you might need them later, like immediately after you defuse the bomb, for example. Yeah. So then Thunderball, Hank Pym, and Iron Man work together ah. to defuse the bomb, which of course is defused. With one second left. God damn it. <sighs> with with point one second left. Well, how left. do they find it? I'm sorry, point They didn't even know where it was. No, but they use their uh, their computers to figure it out. Oh. Once the everyone's together, yes. with their powers combined. They figured out where the bomb was. I see. So so they defuse the bomb, and all the prisoners are like, Woohoo! Thunderball saved the day! And Venom's like, No! Not Thunderball! Venom saved the day! Because Venom freed you guys in the beginning of the book! Yeah! And then so he attacks Thunderball. Oh, but you were... That, the, you freeing us is what activated the bomb! We were gonna die because of you! Yeah. And, and then, we're still in prison! So what have you done? <laughs> Then Vision frees himself and then knocks oh. out Claw and then the Avengers are freed along with Freedom Force and so there's an all-out fight oh, yeah. between everybody and everybody. Alright. Cool. They have so, a big fight that lasts two pages? Yeah. Yeah, this is the fight you're waiting for the entire book. So the Marsh in the confusion escapes. Oh yeah, I forgot about Marsh. Yeah, he runs away okay. and Venom chases after him. Sure. And... <laughs> Venom gets away from the big fight. Yeah, yeah. He, gets, he yeah. starts the big fight and then he leaves. You know the way that like you start a saloon brawl and then <laughs> and crawl let's... underneath the fighters. <laughs> so Venom sneaks away and chases Marsh over to the nuclear reactor that the vault runs on, which of course Marsh has sabotaged. So that that so blows that, up. that will blow up. So now there's another bomb. Now there's another bomb. I'm sorry, Marsh. You know how to Jesus. sabotage a nuclear generator? Well, here's the thing. It's easier probably to sabotage a nuclear generator yeah. than to act. It just goes up. and just is like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Probably not supposed to do it. It's easier to break things than build them. <laughs> so while Marsh and Venom are finding that out, uh, Iron Man steals the controller's discs and incorporates them into his armor so that he can replicate the controller's powers. Oh. And the Crimson. Whatever the hell. Uh, Commander? Commando. Commando. Uh, he captures Mentolo, and then Iron Man uses Mentolo along with the newly incorporated uh, controller circuitry to create a, like, controller wave that hits all the prisoners and then forces them to knock it off. He actually, it hits everybody, including Freedom Force, oh. but everybody stops fighting and is, like, is entranced. Okay. So they're like, okay. Everyone except for Captain America and she Well, all the bad guys. Right? Yes, all the bad guys. Yeah. So while that's happening... So, yeah. So the prison is the prison it's break quelled. is now quelled. Yeah. We're good. And they're like, maybe Marsh will be able to help us get all these prisoners to like their rightful cells. Where is Marsh? They get to the react. We get to the reactor. And Marsh is like, mother and father, see now that I shall uh. get my revenge. I'll destroy everybody. And then... Venom shows up and he's like, fuck you. And he pushes Marsh into the reactor. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, there you go. So he's he, dead. So he dies. No, no, he's going to come back as something. They didn't no. do anything in the whole book and then he dies. Uh, yes. <laughs> so then he dies and then Venom's like, nice. And then he is immediately defeated by everybody else. Right. Um, there, my plan has succeeded. I killed Marsh. Like, Oh shit! Wait a minute. This minute. Burn. And then he gets knocked <laughs> out, and then they check out the fact that there's this like nuclear reaction right. that's gonna go like oh it's gonna be critical. So they use the controller discs to get Radioactive Man and Iron Man into the, well Iron Man takes Radioactive Man and drops him into the reactor so Radioactive Man can absorb the radiation in the reactor okay. to prevent it from exploding, and he does. And oh, indeed wow. he does. And then the book just ends. And then the book stops. It just stops. <laughs> <laughs> those are the best endings and way. then the Avengers stand for a picture that nobody <laughs> takes and I love it because it stops like they ran out of pages yeah but it's an original graphic novel it could be any, which be any amount want. of pages you want should we but have some resolution you know why with... you know it's as many pages because he didn't have another page to make it an extra page like right. in order to get right. this You'd moment add... on the extra page we'd have to add more panels right. no nah just, just what happens with the freedom, freedom force? force? I assume that they are removed from their trance and then given the back their helicopter and they go home empty-handed, of course, because like the guy who was paying shit? their check is dead. Oh yeah. Uh okay. Yeah, but it's not just like Marsh that's paying. No, the it's check. true. It's the entire. The, the, it should it's be the, the vault or Except something. The vaults like just lost its nuclear reactor, and I'm sure like. Millions upon millions of dollars in property damage. Like, there's no way they can afford the freedom 
forces Bill. So that also and means that the vault is without power now. Right. Which means there's no security, which means they can break out again. Well, they could just use the controller's discs to control everybody. <laughs> so really what the, the Avengers do is systematically go into every single cell, find every single prisoner, put a controller disc on them, or use Mentolo's augmented powers on everybody, make them all go into their own cells, lock the doors the old-fashioned way... I don't know. Or just, like, or reprogram them as humans into being law-abiding citizens and then just release them into society. I don't know, but, uh... I love that Venom is so reckless in this. Yeah. That he ruins all of his chances. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, if he had not been such a douche... Screw you, Thunderball! Yeah. Ah! Like, what are you doing? You friggin' idiot. Sorry, I'm... I'm just going through a lot right now. I just I want to kill Spider-Man so bad. It just it just it bothers me everything. I, I get in this haze it's... and I don't even realize what's going on. You know, sometimes I actually threaten to eat brains. <laughs> you know, that's not healthy, man. No, I don't know. I don't want them. Like I'm going to eat somebody's brains. It's gross. It's completely disgusting. Like, can you even imagine like getting to the brain? You'd have to like crack through the skull, one of the mm. most strong bones in the human body. And I'm not going to like Get a surgical saw or anything like right? that. Right? No, I'm gonna use my t- my my what? My venom teeth? Anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> Escaping? Yeah, let's go. Hey, Hydro Man, let's go. And he just rides let's like a wave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Avengers Death Trap the Vault is so <laughs> stupid. This is really dumb. Yeah, I love it because it's just it's a it's it's a classic Avengers tale in which the Avengers fight everybody, Damn. but. Everybody is incompetent. Yep. I used to play with Legos and action figures like this. Yes. Like, just put them all together and, and just, then come uh, up with ways and then, for... Oh, and like, yeah, and then once you get a new idea, that becomes the plot. Yeah. Yeah, that's this. That's insane. Yeah. For and... a book presumably written by a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Danny Finger is a nice guy. Yeah, but... I've met him on a number of occasions. <laughs> also loved Legos. He was also a Spider-Man editor, by the way. Oh, yeah? Like, he edited books. He approved stories and, and helped the guide them into coherency. I mean, if someone wrote this. if someone told you to write a book about the vault, like an escape from the vault, and to get these teams on it in it, yeah, and these characters, there's no way Freedom Force was not a directive. There's no right. way it wasn't like, oh, and make sure to. There, there's no way he was like, and I want to, and I want to use Freedom Force. Yeah. Okay, I've everybody? got a great idea for Freedom Force. No, it was no. hey, and if you're doing an Avengers story, get Freedom Force in there because they're I popular. think they're. I think they're more popular well, than the I, Avengers right now. Okay, okay, so hang on, I gotta take two Avengers teams, put them together, and put them together. Yep, and I've got to incorporate Freedom Force. Freedom Force. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it has to be about Venom. What? Because Venom's very popular. Yeah. Get Venom in there. Put him on the cover, even though he does literally two things. Oh, and uh, make Thunderball really important. <laughs> what? I feel like Fingeroth was like, no, and I'm gonna make Thunderball the superhero. Yeah, that might have been story. that might have been from himself. That's the one. That's the one, the one element he got to put in. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to talk to him about it. So check the description box below this video to pick up a copy of this, which is repackaged as Venom the Vault or Venom Death Trap. I can't be sure, but you know it's the one because it's got Venom on it. And Mystique on it, and it's drawn by Ron Lim, who has a very distinct style where everyone has the exact same face. So <laughs> check it out. Uh, it's a great. Uh, is it a great Avenger story? It's probably one of the best Avenger stories from 1991. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying a lot. One of the best Avenger stories Plus it's in a, from 1991. Plus, it's one of like those oversized graphic novels, which is always yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you won't get that in this, unfortunately. Uh, th- you know, they don't. They don't. Re- they don't reprint them like that this size. Anymore. Oh yeah. But uh, it's still pretty cool. I don't know. No, it's not. No, it's not. But it's fun. It, it's, it's cool that it exists. Yeah. It's an interesting, like, view into a certain type of comic yes. style. It gives you an idea of, like, what it was like to be an Avengers fan back then. Just yeah. to be like, no, just stay with me, okay? They're cool. Because, like, well, I mean, Here's you the know, problem. We can't have, like, the entire team fight one villain. Right. There's too many of them. And too many of them are powerful. Like, Wonder Man himself could defeat Venom in an instant. <laughs> on these two pages these two facey pages there are two times where someone says you idiot <laughs> blob yeah. you idiot you idiot venom mm-hmm. everyone in this book is an idiot <laughs> like you couldn't you couldn't come up with another word moron like insult imbecile like four panels Dolt. later dullard you fool fool they use fool all the time yeah 
Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys next week with another episode. I am Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you know what it is? Wonder Man calls Blob an idiot. So then he's like, oh, I didn't like that. I'm going to call Venom an idiot. Because <laughs> he's the one who calls Venom an idiot. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, classic yeah. bullying. Yeah. I got bullied, so I'm going to bully so somebody I'm else. pass it on. And you know that Venom Bob has a low self-esteem, right? <laughs> My mutant power is that I am fat. If, if I literally lose weight, I lose anything that makes me special. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>